Welcome back to the crank organ project. In the previous video I completed the bellows, frame, and crank mechanism and in this video I'll finish everything else. I put together a solenoid valve test fixture with an Elegoo microcontroller and 12 volt relay module and hooked it up to the bellows. The solenoid valve has a 3D printed housing and a leather and felt pad and appears to be working correctly without any leakage issues. So now I'll move on with building the complete wind chest unit with a series of valves for all the pipes. For the wind chest where all the pipes are mounted, I'm cutting up the panels from a sheet of plywood on the bandsaw. This cutout is for the internal cavity where all the valves will be installed. Now I'm going to do a lot of drilling for the pipe wind channels. Got everything on the top half glued up now, I'm going to barbarically plane and sand it all down. The complete wind chest frame has an eye shape to split up the 28 pipes across the top and bottom. And the ceiling panels are made from flat particle board. Over on the 3D printer, I'm making some gang solenoid holders and pad bodies to go with them. I also finished the complete electronics box. And now here's everything working together. I got the solenoids all hooked up and playing a random sequence of notes. And while it's not shown here, I added some flyback diodes to each solenoid's wiring to get rid of kickback voltage when the solenoids close, which was causing some issues. Now I'm gonna make all the pipes. I'm trying out using cheap material for the pipe bodies while the front will be a more pleasing walnut. This hole is for the wind entry. And for the walnut pipe fronts, I'm using an angled fixture block to rigidly hold it while I cut the upper lip. I've got some thin cardboard glued to the area surrounding the block which will create the windway for the pipe when the walnut cap gets glued on and I'm attaching the top half of the front as well. Now I'm on to the stoppers for the pipes, starting with homemade dowels for the stopper rods. I've got a bunch of pipes here and I'm marking the pipe to transfer the shape of the inside to a piece of paper to get a precise fit on the stopper block.
Now that everything's cut out, I'm using some of this hide glue to join it all together and attaching it to a felt and leather pad to make a good seal. Pipes will get mounted on the front panel with magnets, so I'm using an end mill to make a recess in the back. Now I'll make the cranking wheel. I got some 3 quarter inch plywood and I'm drilling some holes for some scroll saw work. After cutting, I rounded over all the edges. And for the handle, I'm turning down a piece of oak from an old table leg. And there it is after a bunch of coats of spray paint. Now I'm going to make the exterior pieces starting with the oak edges and base. This piece is from some thrown out kitchen cabinetry. I glued up some pieces of oak wood, which I actually got from Pallet, and I'm going to route them on a 3D printed router table. For these decorative corner pieces, I'm using a 3D printed template to mark the fretwork. Now that the pattern is cut, I'm splitting the piece in two with my underpowered bandsaw. Here are the top and side panels for the organ. I put a coat of spray paint primer on and finished with some light green paint. And now that the wood pieces are done, I'm putting three coats of tongue oil finish on everything.
Now I'm going to put it all together, starting at the base. Relays produce an annoying clicking sound, so I put some felt on there to try and dampen it. The adapter for the hand wheel is 3D printed and it has nuts included to capture the screws. The pipes magnetically snap into place and the close fit of the wind tubes helps to hold them stably. And that's the completed organ. And here's how it sounds.